Alrighty guys, today I have a great lesson for you. Another one by Keshi. Today it's going to be band-aids. Now this one has two different riffs, almost exactly the same, but there's one small variation in the last chord rather than playing the one I just showed you. So stick around for that second variation as well, but it's a pretty easy song to get your head around and a really nice picking and strumming pattern that'll be really great for you beginners to learn. So we're in standard tuning with no capo on, which means we've got E, A, D, G, B, E. So make sure you're in tune first and then we can get straight into the tutorial. So we're going to start off with a G6 with a suspended second. It's a bit of a weird one, but it's almost like a G major. So you've got your third fret of the sixth string. And then you're not going to be playing the fifth string, so we don't need to worry about that one. You can mute it here with your middle finger so that you don't actually hear anything if you play the fifth string by accident. Then we've got an open fourth string, a second fret of the third string, third fret of the second string, and then open first string. That's your G6 suspended second. And our next chord is going to be a bit of a weird variation of an A. It's an A13. So you should play from the fifth to the first string, first fret of the fifth string. 2nd fret of the 4th string, open 3rd, 2nd fret of the 2nd string, 2nd fret of the 1st string. So if I take off my top two fingers, it should just be your pinky and ring finger on the 2nd fret, then middle finger 2nd fret of the 4th string, and then 1st fret of the 5th string. We're not playing the 6th string, so you don't need to worry about that one. So, so far we've got our G6 suspended 2nd. An A13. Then we'll move on to another G6 chord. It's just another variation of it. So we're not playing the sixth string again. We've got second fret of the fifth, open fourth, second fret of the third, third fret of the second, and then open first. And then open first. So. And then our final one for the first riff is going to be an F sharp minor seven. So we're playing six, four, three, and two, all on the second fret of those strings. So you could bar it, or just like this, all four fingers on the second fret. So that's six, four, three, and two. And let me show you the picking and strumming pattern. It's kind of a combination of both and it's really worth getting your head around so that you can make it sound really nice. So starting on our G6 suspended second, that's the first time we play it, we're going to go six, four, and then a small strum down, but try and avoid the first string. Now, the way that we play this first chord is gonna be the same way that we play pretty much all of the chords. So it's the same picking and strumming pattern. So it's really worth slowing this down and making sure you have it right before you move on to the next chord. So six, four, strum down, but not hitting that first string because it's really nice. When we do our up strum, we're gonna pluck that first string and maybe catch the second string as well. So six, four, down, up okay but it's swung so it's not just a it's got a little bit of swing to it so and again so you see there at the end I'm just going up down again and here the up you can pluck one string or you can catch a few strings up down so six four down up And let's play that slowly. Six, four, down, up, up, down. Play it with me. And one more time. So you hear there, kind of that up down at the end, I'm avoiding that first string for the up, and then down strum, I'm getting that first string. So the strums aren't actually complete strums, you don't want to hit all of the strings at once, because it really emphasizes a few of the notes that sounds really nice. So I'm not going 
I'm just doing it a little bit more tastefully with a few strings in there. Okay, so you can hear that difference there. So that's the G6 suspended second. We're gonna go six, four down, up, up, down, and then onto a new chord, which is gonna be our A13. So we're gonna go five, four, down, and avoid that first string again. And then on the up strum, you can get that first string. And then the up, down at the end. So five, four, down, up, up, down, and again. So let's play that a few times from the G6 suspended second to the A13, just so we can get our head around that pattern. And then I'll play it a little bit slower so you can get the rhythm together with me. So one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. And now a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the hang of that. Let's go one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now a third chord I've already taught you that's going to be another G6 variation. Again, five, four, down, up. Up, down. So the same as before, using that first string for the up strums mainly. So, okay. And then we're gonna go to our F sharp minor seven. So six, four, down, up, up, down. But here we're not actually playing the first string at all. So we're just playing six, four, three, and two. So. And again and so that up you're really emphasizing the second string rather than the first string this time so so let's put that all together we'll play through it slowly first and then we can play together a little bit faster so one two three four Okay, and again, one, two, three, four. And let's play it through a few times. One, two, three, four. So we'll just keep on repeating that one. And that is really all you need to know for the first riff. Now the second riff is going to go like this. And then we're going to go. So there is just a two chord change in the space that we would normally play. And those chords are going to be an A minor seven. So just like a F sharp minor seven, up three frets to an A minor seven, six, uh, four, three, and two, all on the fifth fret. And we're going to go six, four, down, up. And then straight onto our new chord, which will be a D nine, fifth fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the fourth string, fifth fret of the third and second string. And that's the only strings we're gonna be playing. So five, four, three, two, not six or one. So there we're going five, four, down, up. So slowly that will be. So from our A minor seven to our D nine. So let's play that slowly. One, two, three, four. straight back to our G6. So let's play it again a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. And then back to our 
j6. Okay, so let's play that through together twice, this time up to speed. So this will be our last time. And by the way, if you're enjoying this tutorial or any of my other Keshi ones, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you see many other tutorials like this one. So one more time, let's play it together. One, two, three, four. So hopefully you've got the hang of that one. That's the two different riffs that you need to play throughout the song. And that's really all you need to know for Band-Aids by Keshi. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.